automation and pandemic has affected the life of individual and what does it mean for us so what does it mean for a student for a parent for a person who is already in job and for a person who is searching for job and what do they need to take care about so let's first talk about a case where we have students and parents involved so for a student definitely building up on competency is very very important more the competent you are better you have the potentials for future job uh, security that is there also having multidisciplinary approach is very very important let's say you are good at sciences but if you are not able to relate those sciences with human behavioral issues uh, that sciences won't be that beneficial so bringing in disciplines at par or developing an interdisciplinary knowledge becomes very very essential also we have seen that there are certain skills uh, for example the skills of arts and humanities music art painting drawing that cannot be replaced by machines as of now so we have seen a increased significance for these skills that need to be retained also there are subjects like psychology economics that deal with human behavior if you want to understand if i am a person and i want to buy what would be my behavior so that is very very dynamic and individuals behavior is dynamic not only does the behavior of two different people changes with a while but the same person could behave differently in given situations so what happens is with such complexities of human behavior having an interdisciplinary knowledge with sciences become essential so as a student as a parent what we need to understand is education is essential education is paramount and having good competency and interdisciplinary approach or multidisciplinary approach becomes very very essential as a job seeker what becomes very very important if you are already in job and you want that your job should be retained you should constantly be striving for upskilling that means you should always be ready to take future opportunities for you if not your position could stagnate and that could be replaced by automation soon so try to upskill yourself develop better soft skills develop better technological skills and try to upskill yourself constantly so that you are there uh, in a constant position where you are vital or you are very important for the company and if there has to be any role you are there who would be asked for it first the next important thing is for the job seekers for the job seekers it becomes very very important that you don't keep sitting and prepare for exams exams should be given specifically for those who are preparing for government exams because during the pandemic we have seen that the economies are crunching and because of this dwindling economies uh, the vacancies that are released are not being filled even in one year two years so there has been constant delays that have been seen also we are now talking about minimum governance minimum government maximum governance that means we are trying to move towards an era of automation and that implies we would like require lesser recruitment so even if you are preparing for government exams don't just sit and prepare only for exams try to have at least one secure job and prepare for government exams uh, as a sideline thing and keep giving your exams on a simultaneous basis the next important thing as a job uh, searcher if you are hunting for a job is make sure that your academic track does not have any breaks what does it mean we have recently seen one of the vacancies being released by hindustan singh and that was recruiting candidates with b and bsc degree without any gap year so that means what is important is you do not have any gap year you are not sitting and giving gap years preparing for your je exam or your neat exam that is what is being asked for of course if there has been a medical reason because of which you are unable to uh, give exams for a certain duration and there was a gap reason there is a different story but in of course you would have to explain that when there is a interview for the same <clears throat> the idea is maintain continuity with your studies do not have break years and if you have a break you should have good sound reasons to explain why that was the case so 
that is what a job seeker or a job hunter should look for and as mentioned we have seen in the last past years that literal entry has increased by 22% that means the the number of students that are being recruited through the government examinations have been constantly decreasing so the competition is getting tougher you have more stringent rules that are coming in more delays in the vacancies that have been witnessed and therefore keep yourself up to skill try to build on your competencies and prepare well with a multidisciplinary approach in hand we would be meeting you with many more classes and many more discussions stay tuned have a great day ahead